so good morning guys I made a mistake and deleted Tuesday's video and yeah so the reason why there was no vlog up Tuesday if you guys follow my Twitter you guys will know why um I was I was editing that's right I was editing the vlog and I was done and I was exporting it and then it said error I was like, oh, whatever, and so, I went back on my videos, and I just deleted them all, because it said there wasn't enough for them, so I'm like, oh, let me delete them, and you know, hey, you know, maybe I'll export, you know, okay, I tried to export it, I can't, you know why, because all the videos are deleted, yeah, so all the videos got deleted, and I was like, oh my gosh, I spent like two hours editing for nothing, so, you know, I'm just, um, I learned my lesson now. Now I'm gonna um, retouch up on all the stuff that I was talking about in that vlog, if I can remember. She died from blood loss. There's no gangrene that transplants a leg because the surgery's fresh. You think you saw as the other woman? Justifies his haste in dumping her here right into the desert or a hospital. Also means he's speeding up his surgeries. Ray, where are you going? Ray. Okay, I was talking about. Twitter conflict. Um, that was going to be the title for the video because I was I mentioned that, but the Twitter conflict that happened last week with Louis Tomlinson and Naughty Boy, and um, and my opinion on it. This is my opinion. Um, I thought you know Louis Tomlinson. He. I think the only reason why he said what he said is because he's he's just I think he's still upset of Zayn leaving, maybe. Or just or he just he, he speaks his mind probably that's what he's doing. You guys don't know why they were arguing it was about Zayn, of course. And Zayn was in one direction, everybody knows who they are, and um Zayn decided to leave and go with Naughty Boy. And become a soul artist and um and it was sad because i was i was on twitter when i when all this happened and i'm not the twitter conflict but when zane left the group i was in florida i was i was kind of shocked so, um yeah so i pretty much zane or yeah zane left one direction naughty boy got him he was i think he was working with naughty boy while he was in one direction actually and he just decided to move forward I think it was just Zane deci it was Zane's decision just to just to go. You know, I mean, he just I guess he just wanted to go solo. I mean, you know, never know until you try it, pretty much. Um, and Naughty Boy just he, and he was bragging in a way, but you can't really brag when he Zane started in one direction and he's always going to be known off of that career. Of him being in that career, but and just like Justin Timberlake was based off of Backstreet Boys, was Backstreet Boys? I don't know. I was in, I'm pretty sure the Twitter fight's over. Who knows? It could start up again, but I mean, yeah, Zane's always gonna be based off One Direction, but I mean, he's doing what he wants to do and what makes him happy, and that's the most important. That's the most important. People's happiness. You know, you gotta think about yourself every once in a while. And that's important, but... In the vlog that I deleted, I was also saying... Um, how I don't get into any drama. And the only kind of drama that I was in was in 8th grade. I'm gonna try to keep it sweet and simple. I was in 8th grade, and um... I was friends with this boy. I'm not gonna say his name. Let's just call him Kyle. I was friends with Kyle. He had a girlfriend. And his girlfriend, for some reason, thought I was trying to take him away from her. And that was not the case. I'm not the type of person who would do something like that. I, yeah. After I was home from school and I ended up getting a text from someone. I don't know how they got my number, to be honest. Someone saying, um, they were saying, why are you trying to steal Kyle, you know, away from blah 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 and Andrea let's call her Andrea why are you trying to steal Kyle from Andrea um 
And I'm like, what are you talking about? Who is this? So it doesn't matter who this is. You need to stay away from Kyle. Uh, or you, you're not gonna, I don't know. I don't remember anything else. They were just saying, basically, stay away from it more. You'll get what's coming to you, basically. I'm like, I don't, first of all. I'm not gonna stay away from him just because somebody says, hey, you're trying to, I'm not trying to steal him from anybody, okay? And it was me and Kyle didn't talk a lot. Like we used to after that whole situation. And, um, I mean, we were still friends, we just didn't talk as much. I think I ended up not speaking to a certain friend because of that. Yeah, because that friend was friends with his girlfriend that thought, you know, all that stuff, and she was really good friends with her. So, I think we stopped talking because of that incident, but, um, drama is horrible, you guys. Especially when you don't want it, and it just comes to you, it's like horrible. That was my ever first ever experience with that kind of stuff and it was just, it was bad. I was also in a little bit of drama with an old friend that I had. So basically, I had this old friend. I, you know, I mean, we were good friends too. We were, we were like pals in school. This so was back in 8th grade and uh, we were in class one day. We were chilling and she embarrassed me pretty much in front of the whole class and everybody was laughing at me. I had a teacher named Miss Blanky and you know when she embarrassed me my teacher came up and said what if she were, if she really was your good friend why would she do something like that to you? And, and you know I took those words to thought and I was like you know what maybe Miss Blanky's right you know and um I took those words into consideration and from that from that day forward, I stopped talking to her. She was like, why do you stop talking to me? I was like, I just, I never talked to her. And she was like, oh, oh. She was like, was this because of the thing that I did? It doesn't matter if that was the thing that you did. I, you know, you're not really a good friend, but anyways, so why well, still be friends with you? So, hey, from that day forward, we stopped being friends and we never talked. I know she would snicker behind me and they were, if they were your friends, they really wanted to be friends with you again, they wouldn't do that kind of stuff, first of all. I mean, thank you to my 8th grade science slash math teacher, Miss Blinky, for those wise words. And making me learn how to choose my friends wisely. <coughs> you guys, I'm, I'm trying not to get hacked. I was taking my clothes out the dryer, and I don't know how. Oh, I keep thinking back to the smell. My clothes smell disgusting. I was like, "What is it? Why do they, why do they smell nasty?" I just washed them, and then I put them I, I put them back in the washer because they stunk. I was like, "Uh, uh, I'm not wearing these clothes." So, put them back all in the washer, and what do I see on the floor? I see a dead frog. I was like, it, and it, it was on the floor. I'm like, I'm assuming that's what stunk, and I. So I, I picked it up with a towel, with a paper towel, and I was like, what the heck? I thought it was crap first or something. I was like, what is this? But then I looked at it, I was like, that was a toad. That's disgusting. The smell. I just, oh. Now that I've somewhat recovered from a dead frog in my dryer incident, I wanted to talk about planner, cheap planner, nothing special. And um, yes, I know I have a calendar on um, my phone, but to have something written down for me, it just, I think it helps me better with planning and stuff. And Monday, I was supposed to, that's when I filmed the, the vlog, my vlog four, that was supposed to be vlog four, but um, I got deleted, of course. Half done, clean room. Didn't do that. Still haven't done it, and it's Wednesday. I can clean my room. I'll clean my room Friday because I have. I'll definitely have time. But the little project I won't be able to do till next week. Maybe. I can do it this weekend. I think. But I will for sure be able to do it next week. Today's vlog will be uploaded. You guys will see this Thursday. And then Sunday is my chill day where I'm just going to have a break and 
can do whatever I want. Uh, some exciting news that I heard a couple days ago before my mom left. Oh, my mom went to Chicago for a for a dog show. She left yesterday. Anyway, so the good news I was talking about. Um, a couple days ago, I think I might be getting a car. Ooh, ooh. I'm so excited because I've been asking my mom for a car for I don't know how long. I, I really don't know how long I've been asking for a car. But now she's getting one fixed for me just to actually get a job and actually do something that's going to benefit me. You know, and once I earn enough money, um, once I earn enough extra money to get whatever I want, because I'll end up having to pay my um, bills here at the house. And for my car and gas and all that stuff. So once I have extra money, a lot of extra money put aside, I'll probably buy a good enough camera to actually do some nice, nice, nice videos. Hopefully everything goes to plan, even though it never does for me. But that's what I'm. That's what I'm aiming towards. I don't want to do like fast food jobs just because. <laughs> just. That's what I try to stay away from, first of all. Um, you know, fast food, it gets me sick. All that grease and everything in your stomach it doesn't agree with your body and stuff. Something new that I wanted to start was, um, this thing called Artist of the Week or something, Song of the Week. Um, just to give you something interesting at the end of the vlogs, um, my favorite artist of the week or month or something. The person who I've been listening to well, pretty much this whole month, basically. Her name is Selena Cantania. I don't know if you've heard of her. Most likely you have at some point of your life. Um, if you guys don't know who she is, she is an artist who... She was in a group called Selena Luzinos, and they were very popular back in... I guess late 80s, early 90s. Selena, she actually got murdered by her accountant or was it her accountant? Treasurer? Oh, somebody who was working with her. She murdered her. Shot her at a hotel room in Los Angeles somewhere. It was, it was Texas. Um, a couple of years later, this was back in, she got killed back in 95, I think. And a couple of years later, there, there was a movie that came out about her called Selena. And everybody probably has watched that movie. It's been on MTV, VH1, everywhere. I just told her whole life story and that's how I found out about her. And I saw the movie back in like third grade probably. And I just instantly fell in love with her music, her story, her life. And I just, I, just, I felt, I, I remember crying at the end of the movie. Um, when I found out that she died, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the saddest movie ever. But this is probably one of my favorite movies. You can tell that she was just an inspirational person. She was good to everyone. She was so kind. And the, the main character who played Selena in that movie was Jennifer Lopez. And so that's basically how Jennifer Lopez got her career started was with that movie. I don't know if you guys know that. Yeah, lately I've been listening to a lot of her music. Bailas de cumbia, como la flor, que querías, si una vez. That's all I can think of right now, but yeah, I've been, I've been on that Pandora, the Selena, the station, just replay, replay, replay. Alright, hey guys, so I'm gonna go to bed and edit this vlog and just catch up on some YouTube videos that I haven't watched. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys for no one Friday. I'll see you guys Saturday. Alright, bye. Mm -hmm.